Miss Ganyu, thank you for accepting my invitation. And as for the two of you, your presence is also much appreciated. Sure! That's so kind of you, Huixin. You went to great lengths to organize this. <laughs> Truth be told, apart from thanking you for all the help, there's something I'd like to tell you. Oh? If there's anything I can help you with, just tell me straight away. No need to hesitate. Oh, uh, no, no, I, I don't really need help. Uh, could you just listen for a bit? With pleasure. <laughs> uh, when I was a little girl, my father used to tell me many stories about you, Miss Ganyu. Even though I have the utmost respect for my father, I always admired how gentle and reliable you are. I've only decided to join the Yuhai Pavilion staff because I've always looked up to you. I didn't know that you think so highly of me. However, in reality, working at the Yuhai Pavilion turned out to be an arduous task. I can't compare myself to such an outstanding secretary like you. I often doubt myself as a result. I disagree. You're a great secretary in your own right. <laughs> Thank you. Over the years, I became a mother, too. Huh? So Uncle Tian is a grandpa! <laughs> Influenced by my youthful ideals, she followed my footsteps and came to be a secretary at the Yuhai Pavilion, too. At first, I was worried about her. It's not an easy job, after all. To tell the truth, I'm still unsure if she's capable enough. But after all that happened this time, I've made up my mind to support her choice. So, what made you change your mind? <sighs> the fact that she'll have you, Ms. Ganyu, as her senior colleague. You'll help her, gentle as always, and tell her your mom used to do it like that. <laughs> It'd be such a beautiful moment. If it's not too much to ask for, she might still need your guidance in 20-plus years, too. Huishin, I... I never thought that I meant so much to you. <laughs> Just like when you showed me my father's trick. Having you as their witness makes people feel at ease. Witness? It's true that I've witnessed thousands of years of Liyue Harbor's history. All the changes it's gone through. The stories of its people. But I've always regarded it as nothing more than the source of my loneliness. Huishin. You don't know how important those words are to me. You've made me realize that I share another connection with the people of Liyue Harbor. Apart from my contract with Rex Lapis, they rely on me, accept me, and long for me to bear witness to their stories. Oh, of course. You're irreplaceable to us. <laughs> That's right. That's why I can't disappoint you. Hooray! Ganyu's finally cheered up! Even if I've really been supplanted, I wish to fight for my place. I won't let you down. I'm going to fulfill my contract and keep working as the Chi Sing secretary. Regardless, I'll go back and see for myself. I'm afraid that it might have all become a mess during my absence. No time to waste. Let's get back to work. Good luck, Miss Ganyu. Uh, we're leaving already? Paimon's still hungry. Uh -huh. <sighs> Baisha, are you okay? Did you fall asleep standing up? Look! Look who's back! You even have enough time for leisure? It seems you three are a suitable replacement for me after all. Not at all. We just... We've been working for too long. If we didn't take a break... We wouldn't have survived long enough to see you again, Miss Ganyu. Miss Ganyu, we've missed you. <laughs> That's so kind of you all. Given we've only met once. We've been praying day and night for you to return and take over your duties again. 
To us, you're like an adeptus coming down to the human world to save all life. Forget all our envious complaints from before. Just free us from this strenuous work, please. All right. All right, I see. Please divide the matters at hand into government affairs, business affairs, and civil affairs. Mark out the tasks that haven't been started and those that are in progress. I'll take care of the rest. Of course. We'll do it right away. Oh, finally. <laughs> We're saved. Uh, yes. There's one more thing. I'd like to earnestly thank you, Traveler. If it weren't for your companionship, I would still be embroiled in my inner conflict right now. To think that I'd gained a human friend outside of work. It makes me happier than I could have imagined. I'd like to repay you when I'm done with the work at hand. What would you say if I... accompanied you on one of your trips? Sure, but are you ever done with work on you? Hmm. Uh, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, shall we? <laughs> 